What's good, Winnie Clinic? I hope finals weren't too bad for everyone. Ha, huh, I'm not even gonna talk about my finals, man. I was just glad we had that break. Speaking of which, what did you do last weekend? Oh, you know me. I decided to get my Christmas spirit on and head over and check out the Hampton Christmas Parade. That sounds like a wild weekend, Darren. You're so random. <laughs> I actually ran into Taylor and Amanda there. Yeah, they mentioned something about wanting to make a Christmas parade story. Let's have a look. Hi, everyone. Amanda and I are at the annual Hampton Christmas Parade, here to give you an inside scoop. This year at the Hampton Christmas Parade, we were joined by several marching bands, firefighters, and various members of the New Hampshire community. Featured in the parade were some of Winnicunnet's own. My name is Aiden Kittredge and I marched with Best Buddies. So Winnicunnet marches as a whole and then you can sign up with your club to march. So I signed up with Best Buddies. So we met at Winnicunnet and then they had buses for everyone to board and we drove to the first student to start marching. It was cold, but it was a lot of fun because we marched right through town and you got to see everyone that was watching and we were with our friends, so it was a good time. So if you weren't able to make it to the Hampton Christmas Parade last Saturday, at least you saw some of it. Amanda and I are gonna go wrap some Christmas presents now. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow, Darren, that seemed like a really cool parade. Ugh, I'm getting a shiver up my spine just thinking about the cold. Winter can do that to you, Adel. You just gotta be sure to layer up and keep yourself protected from the cold. It can also do some really weird stuff to the roads. This past week, we got our first sprinkle of snow. Various students from Winnicunnet were actually involved in small driving incidents on their ways to and from school. All the students are safe, but this goes as a forewarning to drive super safe on the roads, especially when it's snowy and icy. Dude, Darren, I like idolize you, bro. I'm so glad we have this class together. Yeah, you're right, man. It has definitely helped us to become better friends. You can almost say we're best, best buddies. buddies. Best Buddies is also an after-school program for students with intellectual and developmental disabilities to connect with other students in the community. Taylor and I have a story on it. I'm so hungry. Where should we go to get food? I don't know. Where's a good place? Uh, I heard there was a fundraiser at the Seabrook McDonald's. Oh yeah, aren't the best buddies hosting that? Yeah, let's go there. I'm Bailey Cox, and this is my buddy. I'm Ricky Brady. Meg. And this is... Micah. My favorite thing is me and my buddy have some things in common, but we want to hang out sometime uh, during this year and the next. And we're buddies, and we've been at the McDonald's fundraiser all night, and um, it was a really, it was really fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. It went well for the most part, but if you go outside, it was a crazy madhouse. Trust me, it was very fun and enjoyable. We had a lot of cars honking and a lot of people saying thanks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brandon, I'm Brandon Stafford. Sorry for my voice, it, it was due to yelling out there. I'm Sophia Stefanov and we're buddies. Okay. Ahem. So, my favorite best buddies thingy um, that we did so far, which was last month. <coughs> we were at the, um, at the corn maze up in Stratum and we did, we did so good. And my highlight there was um was I ran down the hill wicked fast from about like maybe 200 feet and all the way back but it was pretty fun because cuz um I ran pretty fast and, and, and unfortunately I almost fell down the hill because I was running full speed and you know how gravity pulls you down anyway I'm going to hand this to Sophia yeah we had a great time we hope you guys can all join us next time high five best buddies I'm Aiden Kittredge, I'm the Vice President of the Best Buddies Club. I'm Chelsea Coates, I'm the Program Manager for Best Buddies New Hampshire. I'm Jonna Bushway and I'm the Best Buddies President. So the Napoli Group is a group out of Amherst, New Hampshire that owns, owns and operates many of the New Hampshire uh, McDonald's and they have been generous enough with us to let us have three fundraisers at McDonald's throughout the state um, and one of them was at Seabrook tonight. Hi, my name is Larry Johnston. I work for the Napoli Group. We're the operators of the McDonald's here in Seabrook, and we just concluded a great event with the Best Buddies from Winnicott High School. We had a super turnout. Uh, we're 
going to donate 20 percent of all the money that we got both at the front counter and drive through to the organization uh, so they're going to have a lot of money to have a good time with So Best Buddies is a club about inclusion with students at Winnicunit um, that have intellectual and developmental disabilities. They're paired with students that um, throughout the school and you do activities together as well as going to the group events together. And it's a really good way to meet people and um, to make a difference in the community and not only influence your life but the lives of everyone around you. So we meet after our school on Wednesdays in the lecture hall and Miss Allen is our advisor. Um, we had a really strong turnout tonight. Uh, we had a bunch of us outside getting people in, asking for donations, working behind the counter. It was a really fun night. I'm so glad we went there. That was really fun. Yeah, me too it was. Well, I want to kind of till next time. Peace. Community members making a difference is truly inspiring. Another community member making a difference is Josh Ryan. Josh is making 10 miniature Zen gardens and one large garden. The projects will benefit the residents of the Rockingham Nursing Home, where the gardens will be constructed. If you are interested in supporting this project, on December 10th from 5 to 7 p.m., there will be a chowder dinner at the Congressional Church of Raymond, New Hampshire. Josh is hosting this as a fundraiser for his Eagle Scout project. The cost for this will be $8 for a chowder dinner. I'll be there, buddy. Gotta help out those fellow warriors. Very true, Darren. Very true. We gotta eat to survive, man. Right again, Darren. What science class are you in? Who cares about that school stuff? I'm all about the social aspects of things. Like? Like how to survive lunch. Me and Amanda took a look at this to enlighten freshmen and seniors alike. Today we're here to help you guys survive lunch. No nachos left in the quick serve? No issues. Just buy a bag of chips, toss some shredded cheese on that baby, and put it in the microwave till it's melted. Forget your number for lunch? Just type in the first number that comes to mind. Can't get enough ketchup in those small cups? No biggie, just unroll it and make a giant plate and enjoy. Mmm. Wanna get some fresh air? Go sit outside on one of the three rare Brazilian mahogany picnic tables. Check out this eight-sided table. Stand sturdy, it's pretty neat. Everyone knows the best part of a parfait is the crunchy granola on top. But there is not much of it, so when you run out, grab yourself a Nature Valley granola bar and crush that puppy up. Then sprinkle those crumbs on the parfait and enjoy. Mmm. You'll have a great lunch. Wow, Darren, that made me hungry. I can't wait to get home and eat some squidito on El Stiquito over the weekend. Ah, that's right, it's Friday. Well, when I cut it, guess that's all we have for you today. Stay safe and have fun this weekend. And as always, stay classy when I cut it. Look in the in the cock pot. Look in the rip. Look. Yes! Yes! Killed it. Killed it! Smoked it! Yes! That wire right there is so annoying. Can you please take it off the screen? Yes. It's getting in the way of all the words. <laughs> Stop laughing! No! The name is Getchu Betcha.